Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the Laydown Coaster Ride Creation Contest. In this contest all the players had to create a Laydown Coaster. And the Laydown Coaster uh, resembles the Vekoma Flying Dutchman Coaster type, which is a, a kind of flying uh, coaster type where the guests actually lie on their backs in the station and the uh, lift hill. Anyway, we got 30 entries from uh, contestants. I'll uh, show all of them, I'll start with the one that got last place and I'll finish by announcing who's the winner of this round. Now, to keep the uh, video interesting and to make it not too long, um, I'll just show the first uh, um, half of the entries uh, rather quickly. But after that I'll uh, dedicate some more time uh, for the remaining entries. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, in last place we have this entry from Heno2. Um, it's quite a simple layout, we see a small lift hill here, uh, some inversions, but uh, yeah, I think this uh, entry definitely uh, would score better if it had uh, a bit more decorations on the map. Okay, next up is the map from 73. Now, he also went for a snowy theme. Um, yeah, yeah, here in the middle is a laydown coaster, there's also some other coasters uh, and rides in the map. Um, yeah, my biggest gripe with this map was uh, that uh, a lot of the coasters are really high off the ground. Uh, coasters will uh, typically look better if you use the landscape so sh and uh, not just build them uh, high above it. Okay, here's the entry from Eric the Fred. Um, yeah, the laydown coaster has a huge lift hill here and uh, drops uh, down pretty steeply and goes under this big tree house. And here there's a brake section before it continues on. Now um, if your coaster is so tall that it needs a brake section quite soon after the beginning of the of the track uh, in order to continue uh, through the rest of the track then uh, you've probably made it a bit too high. Uh, speed management is quite important in uh, this this kind of uh, roller coasters. All right here's the entry from t -Bashik. Uh, he made this uh, lay this big laydown coaster that travels all throughout the map. That's quite an uh, interesting layout. Now, uh, when you create the map for this contest, I always recommend staying away from the map edge uh, a bit. Because so if you don't and you follow the map edge for a long time, it might uh, make the uh, yeah your map look a bit cramped. And that's definitely the case, for example, for this uh, wooden coaster over here. Wound coasters typically take up quite a lot of space, so uh, yeah, if you have a uh, small space left, probably best to fill it up with some nice buildings, decorations, uh, rather than try to cram a coaster in it, which normally uh, takes up uh, a bit of space. All right, here's the entry from Johnson, 1985. Uh, he made this big aerodynamics uh, warehouse, I believe. Now, um, one. Uh, issue I had with this map was why this support structure for this building probably a little bit overdone um, yeah it's kind of hard to see inside here why the building is mostly empty to be fair except for these supports but yeah, it uh, does make it uh, quite difficult to follow this uh, ghost around here and something else which you probably should uh, work on so uh, well this uh, coaster runs three trains I believe and this uh, block section over here is quite long, so the train that's here in the lift hill will always wait here. So probably a good idea to either set a longer uh, wait time at the station, uh, or just run with a train less, or maybe have a mid-course brake run uh, somewhere uh, along the track here. Okay, here's the entry from Bam the Bomb. Now I actually had to give uh, quite a big penalty because he made this map uh, way too big, <laughs> and I didn't notice before I accepted it. Uh, but yeah, um, I uh, quite like this uh, this flying coaster actually. That's an uh, interesting uh, layout, lots of inversions. The what I probably like most is how it travels over this uh, island here in the middle with this really cool looking uh, foliage in different colors. Now the theming, um, not, not really an overarching theme uh, as far as I could see. It's kind of a, it looks like a mishmash of different themes. Uh, but yeah, um, it definitely looks uh, looks quite fun. And this island here in the middle, also this section, they look really good. Alright, this next entry is from Terabo. Now, uh, before I continue, um, if, you, if I'm going a bit too fast and you want to check out these entries for yourself, 
Uh, you can all download all these entries from my Discord server. The link is in the video description, and it's completely free. Anyway, um, yeah, here we have another uh, uh, laydown coaster. Uh, this one's fairly compact, also lots of uh, inversions, lots of tight uh, track. Now, uh, I did find it to go a little bit fast through some of the track pieces. For example, there's this core screw here right at the bottom. Uh, probably better to take these at a bit of uh, maybe a, a low speed. Um, uh, there's also a loop here right at the beginning. Uh, it almost looks like it's uh, higher up than the station even. So yeah, maybe a little bit of higher speed uh, would be nice through this element. But yeah, speed management in these coasters is quite uh, important. But yeah, fairly uh, compact layout for this uh, coaster. Now I do actually quite like the flower decoration uh, in this map, in this section. That's actually uh, pretty nice. Alright, here's the entry from Steezy Boy. Oh, he made this big uh, green uh, flying coaster. Again, lots of uh, inversions uh, throughout this track. Uh, I think this uh, this first half uh, looks uh, looks quite nice. Uh, second half actually has uh, some <laughs> awkward uh, uh, inversions uh, in its track, but yeah, that definitely does make the coaster quite uh, unique. Now uh, for this uh, landscape, well, it is mostly just uh, landscape with some paths, a few buildings. Um, yeah, what uh, makes a park usually look more interesting is actually the stuff you build on the landscape. So if you want to uh, score high in these contests, uh, it's usually best to uh, add more uh, decorations uh, in your map if you don't know what to add in a, in a spot. So overall I think it's quite nice. Okay, here's the entry from Mok. Now uh, Mok put a really interesting uh, lift hill in this entry. It's uh, stationed over here and it actually travels up in uh, three sections. Uh, well, usually that's, uh, that's best avoided in these contests. It generally is better to just make a straight lift hill and uh, continue on for, uh, from that, because that usually just looks uh, much nicer. Again, lots of uh, uh, crazy inversions in this uh, in this coaster. Uh, very compact. Uh, I do really like this uh, backdrop here for the top spin. Uh, I think that's uh, really cool. And some nice, uh, interesting buildings uh, throughout this map uh, as well, especially this one over here. Right here's the entry from Colorblind Unicorn. Now, um, the landscaping in this map uh, was, in my opinion, slightly uh, disappointing. Don't get me wrong; uh, I really like the uh, yeah the height differences, uh, the trees, the ground texturing. That's all uh, really nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's usually better to have more decorations rather than just landscape. Um, but yeah, um, as for the uh, laydown coaster, uh, I really like its uh, layout. Um, it's just very uh, down to earth. Uh, yeah, this is. A, I think this is a pretty realistic uh, layout. So here we have the uh, uh, trains leaving the station. It's one of those dual stations. Have a little transfer track here, right next to the lift hill, just like the real ones do. Um, yeah, I think uh, our, this uh, layout uh, could uh, very well be. Uh, a real uh, layout for one of these coasters. So there's some very nice uh, inversions which look to be taken at quite a calm speed. A vertical loop over here. Uh, yeah, just a very good layout from a colorblind unicorn. Alright, here's the entry from Low Poly Surf. Now, uh, again, I had to give a small penalty because the map is a few tiles uh, too big on uh, on both sides. So uh, that's, uh, that's not allowed. Anyway, um, yeah, you may recognize this layout if you look carefully. Because this is actually the layout of the inverted coaster Nemesis, but uh, redone as a, as a laydown coaster. No, and uh, I must say uh, the layout of Nemesis, uh, Nemesis actually works surprisingly well as a laydown coaster. So here you can see the first drop, uh, with uh, followed by a corkscrew, and then uh, uh, finally further further on in the in the layout, there's actually the vertical loop. But yeah. I uh, really like how you can actually see Nemesis's layout in this. I think it's a really creative uh, what Low Poly Surf uh, did here. Right here's the entry from Cobra Six. Now, Cobra Six actually made a, a coaster which travels through the layout uh, twice, and uh, it actually duels uh, with itself uh, through the, throughout the the layout. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, the second time these uh, 
you see these cars in the lift hills, uh, lift hill, they don't actually uh, do all that uh, that well, but uh, the next time around they do well, uh, pretty well throughout the layout uh, again. Um, yeah, these uh, cars uh, typically don't uh, do well with each other um, well, very well throughout the track. Rather, they uh, just meet up only at certain points. I think the best time point in this uh, layout is actually uh, in this loop. If we speed it up a bit, you can uh, see them. Uh, um, yeah, see they're quite far apart uh, over here, but here in the loop they usually uh, meet up. But yeah, the loop is typically and the lift hill are typically the only places where I could really uh, see them uh, uh, duel with each other. So I think that's a shame. Um, Especially since these tracks are quite close to each other. Would have been nice if we uh, saw uh, them next to each other uh, for a larger duration of time. Here is the entry from Whistling Corsair. Uh, he made this very uh, uh, forested map. You can see a big pine forest here and also some uh, huge uh, trees here and there. Here we can see the flying coaster. Uh, the first part of the layout, a bit windy with uh, some curved drops and hills. But here follows the first inversion. We can also see some uh, multi-dimension coaster track here to make this a uh, quarter loop. Here you can see the the vertical loop, and this is what looks like a cobra roll that goes around the spike of this coaster. Um, yeah, I really like uh, this part, especially this uh, this roll that goes around this uh, spike. That's a that's a pretty nice uh, interaction moment. Uh, custom trees also uh, pretty nice. Maybe it would have been nice to have a bit more height variation here in this foliage. So uh, yeah, the human eye is really good at recognizing patterns and it's maybe a little bit too uh, regular. But yeah, still, overall, uh, I think it's quite a nice and foresty map. Now, uh, as for this forest over here, the pine forest, uh, I think it could probably do with a little bit more height variation and maybe a, a bit of uh, ground texturing that uh, will usually also make your forest look uh, look uh, much nicer and it also makes it look uh, yeah, a little bit more dense maybe but this uh, I think this is definitely key to make uh, to making a nice uh, forest a bit more uh, ground texturing all right here's the entry from Zacchaeus and uh, he made this old uh, town that's uh, or an old preserved town that's here at the lower part of the map and then over here on top of the cliff there's a huge coaster and a futuristic town. Uh, <laughs> I think it's funny to see these go-karts uh, uh, cruise around on the, the top of this uh, building. That's pretty fun. Now this uh, laydown coaster actually has a wild uh, layout. Um, yeah, what I personally did not like as much is, well yeah, this coaster is mostly above this section of the map. Uh, it really ignores the landscape and it just sits here with a uh, with a really tight layout on these uh, huge uh, supports I think a really tall support throughout a large uh, a part of the ride is usually a good thing to uh, to avoid I just don't think it uh, it looks uh, that beautiful maybe some nice uh, support towers or uh, a more intricate support structure would have helped uh, this part a bit but yeah, I do really like the um, structure that's made here for the station using all these uh, coaster track pieces. That's really cool. Okay, here's the entry from NFE. Uh, he made this uh, go-kart track um, with the big coaster running above it. Now, I, I uh, really like uh, how NFE did this uh, go-kart track. I uh, really like the color and the, and the track layout. And the barriers for it also look uh, pretty nice. I also like that there's some uh, greenery here in the middle. Uh, I think the foliage is uh, one of uh, NFE's uh, strong points uh, in this map for sure. Also, uh, <laughs> I think this Ferris wheel here is quite interesting. He actually put uh, an actual Ferris wheel here in the middle for this uh, uh, shoestrung ride. Maybe if this uh, track was uh, a little bit, bit lower to fill up this gap, I think it would have been uh, perfect. Okay, here's the entry from Ganderlow. Now uh, he made this really cool flying coaster here, which actually travels down uh, a waterfall. Now uh, it looks like he spent quite some time uh, on the supports for this coaster. This support structure, I think it looks really cool. You can see all these uh, support towers here. Uh, and then at the top they, they branch out into smaller uh, supports. Yeah, it's just uh, so cool looking. It's another thing this uh, single rail coaster track is uh, really uh, good for. 
Now I also saw some really cool uh, buildings in the map. You can see this uh, uh, taller hotel here in the corner. Uh, I think that looks uh, really cool. Use some of these recolorable Tudor set pieces. And over here we also have a really nice looking station building for the coaster with several uh, different levels. Yeah, I think uh, Ganderlo just uh, did an incredible job in this map. Landscaping is cool, buildings are cool, and the coaster here also looks really nice. Okay, here we have the entry from Bo Jiden. He made this uh, layout coaster here, which he tucked away a bit into the corner. Now, very compact layout, but still uh, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it's quite a few uh, inversions. You can see it go through the loop here. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this first part over here where it travels through this half corkscrew and after that levels out and then goes down in the dip. Uh, when you do an inversion like that, uh, yeah, that always looks a little bit uh, awkward in my opinion. Um, yeah, so maybe it would have been better to just uh, drop down to the, to the level of the loop and just continue on from there instead of doing it with a half corkscrew. Of course, uh, you still need an inversion, and a half inversion before you can actually go through the loop. So yeah, um, that part, this part definitely could have been uh, improved a bit. But still, the rest of the layout, I think it, it, it's pretty nice uh, to look at. Landscaping here, done really nicely. I really like this, uh, this water line. And also some uh, really beautiful uh, buildings in this map, especially the station of the coaster. And also this uh, building here with the hanging gardens above it. All right, here's the entry from Sordid. Now Sordid actually, uh, couldn't spend any more time on this entry. He also already worked. He already worked really long on it, but ran out of time. Uh, that's a shame. But that makes it all the more impressive that uh, the entry still scores uh, so high. Uh, yeah, if, uh, we can only uh, guess what kind of score it would have gotten if it uh, if it was completely finished. But yeah, the layout for this uh, uh, laydown coaster is just uh, so nice. You can see the coaster uh, leave the station here. It goes up this lift hill. This lift hill is decorated with all these uh, queue line uh, televisions. So I'm not really sure what they represent, if they're speakers or maybe actually screens on the lift hill. But still, it's a really cool uh, detail. We can see some awesome uh, custom support here under the coaster. Especially in this uh, uh, overbank turn here. Uh, yeah, that's just such a cool uh, detail. Really nicely done. Um, yeah, there's just uh, really cool details here everywhere. A station for the ride also just looks incredible with all these incredible uh, details like all this pipe work, uh, these chimneys. Uh, yeah, it's just very industrial theme and uh, I think it looks amazing. So this decoration here in the front of the building, just uh, so cool. Here in the middle we have this industrial uh, sculpture thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's also nice, uh, I, and I really wish uh, Sordid would uh, would have had the time to finish his uh, entry. There's a little bit of a uh, crowding problem though. Um, the pathfinding of guests is not uh, too great uh, in this map with this path layout. All right, here's the entry from Nugs for Nugs. Uh, he made this uh, uh, laydown coaster in what looks like uh, kind of like like maybe an Italian uh, uh, style of uh, of buildings. Especially this building here called Rocco's Pizza, which has a giant pizza on the roof. Now, it wouldn't really be visible for guests, uh, but it sure is visible for the viewer of this uh, park. And it's really uh, creative uh, how he made this. Now, um, here we can see the laydown coaster drops down here into this uh, cobra roll, which actually uh, passes through this loop which the coaster uh, goes through uh, at a later point. I think it's a really cool support structure here for this uh, helix. That looks uh, that looks epic. Um, yeah, the second half of the layout looks a little bit boring because it's mostly just a straight track uh, with a few hills uh, and one more uh, inversion. But yeah, um, definitely um, compared to this first half of the layout, the second half probably could have been uh, spiced up uh, a little bit. All right, here's entry from CXM1060. No, it's been a long time since he uh, joined, but uh, yeah, no, uh, this is one way uh, to come back. Uh, yeah, here we can see a big uh, lift hill for the coaster. Uh, quite a good layout. It uh, yeah, it uh, looks like it takes all these elements at a, at a good pace. Um, here we can see a mi mid-course uh, brake run. Um, 
after that uh, over here some more inversions but yeah i think uh, this coaster takes all the elements at a really nice speed uh, the coaster layout looks great uh, great support work throughout the map buildings also look nice so yeah, landscaping also done very nicely, so CXM1060 just did an incredible job. Alright, we've arrived at the top 10 of this contest. Here we can see the entry from the Brew, or the Brew. Yeah, the Brew uh, actually made a really nice uh, layout for this coaster. It's quite uh, spaced out, and it looks like it takes these elements at a nice and gentle speed, which, uh, which is good. Uh, also, uh, this entire layout has nice uh, custom uh, supports. Very intricate uh, support structure, especially here for the lift hill. Um, it looks like mostly single rail coaster track, but also with some uh, um, wild mouse uh, um, supports over here. So this uh, this uh, loop also has some nice uh, supports. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's really nicely done. Also some other uh, nice buildings uh, over here in this uh, entry. Um, I do think the pods here maybe could have used uh, a few more decorations uh, in the form of lamps maybe. Maybe a few more uh, planters in the middle of some trees. Just to break up uh, this uh, sea of path here a little bit. But uh, yeah, overall I think this is a really nice entry. Right, here's the entry from Dark Raider. Now uh, this map is uh, done in fully in an Asian theme. Uh, I think these uh, buildings uh, all throughout the map uh, look amazing. Especially this uh, section over here, uh, I really like that. This looks like a really nice, uh, uh, calm Asian town here. Now, as for the coaster, also just a really cool uh, layout. Uh, it's not really much in the form of custom supports here, but uh, the rest of it, uh, the coaster is just done so nicely and that these custom supports uh, aren't even really uh, necessary. Uh, we can see a really cool sculpture in, here in the middle of a uh, dragon. I really like the names of these uh, track takes around. This looks like a head if you squint. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really funny. Uh, what I really like is how the paths are done in this map. Uh, with this monorail wall and these uh, metal pieces here on the edge. Uh, yeah, the, that makes these paths look nice and uh, curved. Um, and if, especially if you zoom out, uh, I think that looks uh, really cool. But uh, these parts around the coast here, probably uh, the, the fence could have been a little bit higher. Maybe put some steeple chase track on top and that uh, actually makes these fences look really nice. Alright, here's the entry from Grimnork. Now, I was a huge fan of this, uh, of this uh, layout. Also, this support work under this coaster um, just looks amazing. Yeah, the coaster goes up the lift hill here. Uh, then it does quite a steep uh, drop downwards here then uh, over here travels through its first inversion the loop uh, I think this uh, loop here just has an amazing location it's just framed so well I love this uh, ship wreck uh, right next to it and the uh, log flume is right behind it yeah I just uh, really love the <laughs> location of this uh, of this inversion here this is just uh, a really nice scene now, rest of the layout also looks uh, quite uh, spectacular. Um, yeah, it's just an incredible uh, layout. Now, uh, probably my favorite part of the coaster is actually right over here. Now, here we can see a huge uh, building that the coaster travels through, and the queue of the coaster actually also leads uh, through it. Um, yeah, this is just a, a great example of uh, how to make a good looking queue. You can actually see the guests uh, travel uh, through this building here, which is also fully decorated on the inside. You can see a big uh, jungle here, and the coaster also travels through it. And that definitely gets the guests uh, warmed up for this uh, attraction. Yeah, that's uh, just uh, such cool uh, details. And here on the outside of the map, we can also see a bit of, we can see a creature here, which ties into the story of the map. Uh, about an ancient civilization and the reason for its downfall was also found but yeah a really cool coast a really cool map uh, cool story so this was uh, definitely one of my favorite entries of the round okay here we have the entry from risico he uh, recreated uh, batwing which is a uh, which is a real coaster uh, yeah i think that's a really good uh, recreation of this ride it's an amazing support structure that risico put uh, together here 
Uh, yeah, the layout just follows the real one uh, quite well. Uh, here we have the overbanked uh, turn. Over here we have the fly to lie, and then um, here it travels into this vertical loop before it carries on here uh, through the rest of the track. And finally here is another uh, double inversion a helix before it returns back to the station. Station building also looks uh, incredible. Uh, the transfer tracks uh, here are also done uh, really nicely. Uh, yeah, it just follows the original one uh, really uh, well. Uh, sadly, the original uh, coaster just sits in, on the, in a corner of the map. So uh, yeah, the real one also doesn't have a lot uh, in the form of decoration. Um, if there was a bit more decoration, uh, maybe this entry would have scored uh, even higher. But yeah, this was just uh, an amazing uh, recreation in my opinion. Okay, here we have the entry from Immortal Cactus. Now, um, this is probably one of the less uh, realistic uh, layouts, but still uh, I think it looks really cool with this uh, first drop here. Um, so it travels up this steep lift hill here, then drops down. It's actually some multi-dimension cozy track here, and then it uh, travels under the uh, under the map, and then here it somewhere it pops up again. But yeah, it does that in a few uh, spots throughout the park. It just uh, goes under the map and then pops up uh, again uh, but yeah it's just uh, really cool to see how this coaster travels uh, throughout this map um, yeah it just makes this coaster look really interesting and also it, these uh, the color for these uh, supports it's also just very uh, very striking i believe he actually uses one of uh, 73's uh, palettes in a really nice uh, way so yeah it looks like these uh, pellets can actually work if you use them uh, carefully. But yeah, just a really cool coaster, uh, really cool buildings throughout this map. It's a nice uh, theme in here uh, as well. Uh, the color of these trees, I think it works uh, pretty well here. Also the foliage on the side of the map. So once again, uh, uh, an amazing entry from uh, Immortal Cactus. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his uh, entries. Alright, here's the entry from Lurker. Now, uh, he created this blue laydown coaster here in the middle of the map. Now, uh, probably my favorite part in this entry is the station for this coaster. This building just looks amazing with these decorations here on the top. Um, it's a really good usage of this recolorable uh, expansion scenery. Uh. Now, the layout also pretty nice. Uh, you can see the coaster traveling up here. Uh, it will uh, rotate uh, to a flying position uh, here in this uh, underground section. And after that, it winds through this mountain here. Finally here, it travels through this loop. And after that, that's a helix. And sadly, there's no more inversions here in the second half of the track. I think this layout probably could have used uh, another inversion uh, somewhere, just to make the layout a little bit more uh, interesting. But yeah, still uh, the rest of the map just full of nice uh, industrial uh, uh, decorations. We can see a small lock here, uh, some more industrial uh, buildings. We can see a little bit of farmland here. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this is just a typical uh, lurker entry. Lots of uh, uh, nice landscaping, lots of elevation changes, and the foliage uh, is just uh, spot on once again. Right here's the entry from Kanaifa. Now, uh, Kanaifa made a beautiful uh, setting here, kind of looks uh, Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, and this coaster has a really nice and warm, bright color, which uh, which goes with the uh, yeah with the palette uh, quite well. Uh, layout of the coaster, just uh, I think it's really good. Uh, you can see it travel up the lift hill here, then does uh, it's a drop here in the flying position. Here it rotates underground into the loop. So it's a good, uh, good thing to hide these, uh, uh, yeah, these half uh, rolls. Um, if the coaster is going quite fast there, then you can just pretend the coaster takes, uh, or the roll is more drawn out. So uh, here it travels into this uh, loop, then it travels around here. Here we can actually see it do a bat wing element, and finally here it does uh, another roll uh, before it goes back into the station. A nice transfer track here, it's a nice queue. Uh, the buildings here uh, are great. Uh, looks like they're inspired by some of uh, Mackett's uh, stuff. It's always uh, good stuff to uh, to copy in your entry. A uh, little lighthouse. 
yeah, foliage and the waterfront is also done just really uh, nicely. So yeah, what, uh, what else can I say? This is just a wonderful entry from uh, Kanaifa. Alright, there's just three entries remaining. I will first show uh, all three of them. And after that I will reveal which one is the winner of this round. Now uh, I'll start here with the entry from Monster Box and Shen Kitchen. They worked together to make this uh, Studio Ghibli uh, map. And uh, wow, <laughs> this, this looks amazing. I only watched uh, Spirited Away uh, for the first time last year. But yeah, um, this building is just so recognizable. But also the other stuff uh, from the movie. So there's this uh, train here which travels through the water. There's also this uh, Haku uh, flying around. Uh, here we can see a sign of one of those uh, uh, spirits. Here we can see the a sign with the logo of the city of Ghibli. Um, yeah, there's just tons of wonderful uh, buildings throughout this map. I especially like the station of this coaster. That just, that's, that's just an uh, incredible uh, selection of uh, a combination of scenery items and track pieces. That's just so creative. Now also the layout of the coaster is really nice. It has some really creative inversions uh, like this uh, pretzel over here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just so nice uh, to see this uh, and sits here really nicely in the right in the middle of this path. So yeah, it can be enjoyed uh, from all angles by these uh, guests. See all the guests uh, freely able to walk under this coaster. Uh, just tons of cool decorations, uh, uh, foliage, waterfalls, landscaping. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> entry just has everything. Uh, once again. Uh, you can download all these entries from my Discord server, you can find the link in the video description. I uh, really recommend taking the time to check out some of these entries uh, for yourself. Alright, here we have the entry from Hobion. Now, he made this uh, coaster which uh, sits over this uh, these rapids in the river. Uh, yeah, just uh, a great uh, layout for this, uh, for this uh, laydown coaster. Um, here, over here is the lift hill for the coaster. Then it does a bit of a curve and then uh, it travels over this river here and with some great supports uh, over here. Um, yeah, these uh, supports just look great. Looks like a single rail coaster track. Uh, we can see a vertical loop over here. And over here it uh, travels through the, through the rest of the track. They're really uh, interesting uh, uh, set of inversions over here. Uh, what I like most about this entry is this huge uh, bridge uh, structure. Um, yeah, especially this part uh, of the building is just great. We can see an elevator inside here, but uh, especially these windows over here. And with this, uh, yeah, the way this is placed here, it actually looks like this glass is uh, curved, which is a really neat uh, trick. Now, just an incredible uh, structure here for the bridge, but also for these roofs here. They're just uh, amazing. Yeah, you can also see a duck here. <laughs> so yeah, just an amazing entry from uh, Hobion uh, once again. Alright, and here's the entry from Inox and Manticore. Two names we don't see too often in these contests anymore. But uh, yeah, when they uh, do enter, they always uh, deliver. And here we can see their uh, laydown coaster. Now, it's probably one of the more unique entries. Uh, yeah, it uh, actually has a really slow lift hill up uh, throughout this uh, uh, half loop. And yeah, the, the vehicles will actually, uh, um, yeah, you can see them travel up very slowly here. Uh, and it looks like they're being uh, propelled along by this uh, Ferris wheel here. So yeah, that's uh, actually really uh, creative. And I quite like that. Now, uh, the layout for this coaster is actually uh, quite compact. Um, maybe it's a little bit too compact. Uh, <laughs> it just looks like a, a blur of. Uh, uh, yeah, or an endless string of uh, inversions which it uh, follows. So uh, yeah, maybe if this was spaced out a li little bit more, maybe uh, some more height uh, in some uh, in some elements of the track, probably it would have looked a little bit nicer. But yeah, decoration-wise, uh, this map just look looks incredible. I love this transfer track over here with all the different uh, gates here. Um, yeah, the industrial decoration top of this building just uh, looks uh, amazing. And there's also lots of uh, funny little staff scenes uh, here throughout the map. This one was actually probably my favorite. This mechanic was frozen here and actually looks like he is hanging off this uh, off this uh, stairway here. 
So yeah, that's really nicely uh, done. And yeah, these uh, the, all these little staff scenes, they uh, just make a map so much more fun to look at. Uh, this top spin here is also just really cool. There, there's just a ton of detail packed uh, into here. And with all these cog wheels around it, that just makes it look uh, amazing. You'll see a little dark right here uh, with a cutout in the building. So yeah, there's just uh, so many cool uh, little elements in this uh, entry. So yeah, once again, wonderful entry from Inox and Manticore. Alright, now it's time to reveal which one of these last three entries is the winner of this round. And the winner of the Laydown Coaster Ride Creation Contest is... Monster Box and Shen Kitchen. Yeah, Monster Box Shen Kitchen uh, once again teamed up and they created a, a wonderful entry. It's just so nice and colorful. Uh, these colors all really work together really well. Landscaping is uh, spot on. Foliage. Um, yeah, and it's just a really fun map to explore and to see if you get all the references uh, in the map. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, just an incredible entry. Now, there were many incredible entries uh, in this round. Uh, I think it was really fun to uh, watch all these laydown coaster uh, layouts that were created uh, for this uh, round. We had a lot of entrants uh, in this round, which is always uh, really fun. Now, uh, a new ride creation contest uh, will start soon. Um, yeah, it, the theme of the round will be uh, revealed uh, uh, when the round starts. Uh, I hope to see uh, a lot more of uh, you uh, joining in once again, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. All right, um, I hope you uh, enjoyed all these entries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a like; uh, it would really help out my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.